Hi everyone, uh, this is my review and unboxing of the WPAD Reloaded which has a SIM card option, finally. So you can use the internet using the SIM card, however you cannot make phone calls. Uh, it's pretty handy if you want to use the internet. It's costing, it cost me around 6,000 rupees. Well, uh, so yeah, so I got it from WickedLeak dot org so it comes for 5999 and uh, yeah let's see what it is like All right. okay there's a user manual which I won't be needing that's the tablet Another protective layer on top of this, um, which comes out this way. Right. Okay, so we'll get back to the get back to it in a minute. What what else do I have? I have earphones, which are okay. These are earphones. Uh, I've got a charger and I've got an adapter. Uh, Indian adapter. Okay, so that's the box. Let's get to the tablet. Okay, let me boot it up. It comes with Android 2.2. So, yeah, it's booting. Okay, so the body is pretty nice. It has got two speakers here, uh, it has got two volume buttons, a power button. It has got a uh, USB port right here. It has a mini USB port as well and an OTG port to connect it to the computer. It has a earphones uh, uh, port. It has a micro USB port so it can be expanded to 32 GB. It has a built-in space of uh, 4 GB. 4 GB. Well, uh, this is the microphone and this is the plug for charging okay so while it's loading let me get my sim card uh, so I've got my sim card which is the Reliance GSM sim card this tablet only supports GSM uh, sim card so you can use Airtel, Vodafone, Reliance or with server uh, MTNL I'm not sure about MTNL but but you can, I'm pretty sure you can, as long as it supports 3G and 2G networks. Okay, so, so the SIM card goes in this way. Alright, so it's, what you need to do after, uh, is, once you put in your SIM card, you need to shut it down turn it off okay right. right and you need to boot it up again so let me boot it up again So it's on again so after you've inserted your sim card you have booted it up again what you need to do is go into settings you need to go into Wi-Fi you need to go into mobile networks you need to turn off data enabled and you need to turn on data mobile networks right and then you need to go into network operators 
and it will start searching your uh, your network operator so this might take a while in the meantime uh, because this is the first time it takes some time for it to configure uh, in the meantime I will show you the camera it has got a 0.3 megapixel camera it's not too strong but it's okay it has also got uh, yeah it's let me see the sound quality on this okay, as you can see the network it has already connected to the network and you can see the network symbol has changed the okay, sound quality seems pretty nice yeah I need to turn it off right. okay so we are connected to the network what I need to do is go into settings wireless and then I need to enable data okay okay right so as you can see we just got the symbol for 3G or 2G data I'm using a 2G data plan it, as it is cheaper 3G is too expensive but it also supports a 3G dongle uh, which you can connect it over here. Anyway, so let's see the speed of the internet on it. Uh, it's too. Okay. It seems slightly slow, but well, it's loading. Okay, there you go. That's Google for you. And let me see what happens if I search for, say, Wicked. Wicked League. W pad. Okay. Well, considering this is 2G speed, it's slightly slower, but I think I will upgrade my my network to a 2G, 3G plan, and then it should be much more faster. right there you go so that's Google and zoom in as well and zoom out okay so let me see the videos on this as always Yeah, let me go into settings. Uh, yeah, yeah, so it has got sensor calibration, that means it has got, got four-way G sensor. 
about device it has system updates so you can update the system if any updates are released you, it has got Android 2.2 2.6 kernel which is Android Froyo uh, yes so that's about it uh, well it has also got an option for call settings however I've been told that it does not support phone calls right now well, uh, this seems like a good option compared to the one ta the other tablets wherein you have to connect a 3G dongle. Uh, there are pl uh, the closest uh, tablet. This is the cheapest one which supports a SIM card, and it has uh, decent speeds. I won't say great speeds, but it has got decent speeds. Uh, pretty helpful if you want a cost effective tablet which supports a sim card and you can use it on the mo move and you don't want to use a 3G dongle and have the hassle of connecting it uh... yeah so it's pretty uh, smooth uh... i mean loading takes a while but again it also depends on your network operator So. that's about it from me if you have any doubts uh, you can leave a message on my uh, YouTube video or comment on this video or share this video with your friends so they know about this uh, at a price point of uh, 6000 rupees I think it's a great tablet uh, as it supports a sim card uh, yeah so thanks a lot thank you very much for watching my video if you want to buy this you can visit wickedleak.org uh, you can also avail of one year warranty so have a nice day it also has I forgot to tell you it also has Android market here uh, which many of the new tablets do not support it also supports GPS which is maps so you can use GPS once you configure it and use it for navigation uh, on the move. Pretty handy device I would say if you want 3G speeds you can connect a 3G dongle as well. It has got it has got the option of connecting a 3G dongle which says 3G network settings and this is a support list of which all dongle it supports so it supports Huawei, ZTE so these are the dongles which are supported and uh, yeah so that's about it it also has Wi-Fi, you can use Wi-Fi, turn on Wi-Fi, turn on Wi-Fi. Plus, please note when you are using your internet through your SIM card, please keep the Wi-Fi off. So, basically it does not take away your battery life very fast. It has a good battery life as well, around 4 to 5 hours. Well, that's about it. Uh, it's a pretty handy tablet. If you want to, let me show you a bit, bit of pictures on it. Yeah, so it has got it has got pinch touch, so you can zoom in. How do I put it on? Yeah, you can zoom in this way. I wasn't expecting this, but. I mean, it's great if you can zoom into content. The touch seems pretty okay, although it's a resistive touch screen, but it's pretty handy. 
for low cost device this is an amazing device I would say if you I would really recommend you to go ahead and buy this uh, anyways have a nice day I will be signing off now please stay tuned for more videos that's about it